What's happening out there, YouTube? Uh, five percenters and Price Plow Faithful. This is Mike with Price Plow, and I got a good one for you today. This is Rich Piana's Five Percent Nutrition uh, Bodybuilding Lifestyle Meal Plan. So uh, I'm gonna open this up. I just got it in the mail, and I'm gonna drop off about half of these meals uh, for CJ. So this is gonna be a split review where we talk about um, what's in the foods, what we get, and how we like it, and everything. But uh, the the long story short is that. Rich Piana has been hyping this for about um, since the beginning of the year and that he wanted a meal plan that consists of real food. Rich is a big fan of just real food. Uh, he doesn't do protein powders and he has a supplement that's actually real food which is a carbohydrate supplement that I actually love. I uh, absolutely love. But anyway, um, his big issue is that meal plans out there are just too expensive, especially the ones that are shipped out there. So he was very adamant about having a uh, meal plan that was for the five percenters out there who aren't making millions of dollars and everything, but um, wanna have meals at $6 per meal, plus shipping. And so even if you add in that shipping, this is gonna end up being a lot cheaper than a lot of the ones that we have here locally in Texas. So right off the bat, um, I'm a fan of that because again, we're price plow, and so we are price conscious, but you know, quality is a huge thing. So with the meal plans, there's three different uh, forms you can get, and we're gonna try to review all three if 5% uh, will let us have that. And so um, the first one is, this is a uh, the bodybuilding lifestyle. So this is kind of an even keeled macro where it's a, uh, you know, each meal is about 45 grams of protein, 45 grams of carbs, and 15 or so grams of fat. Pretty well balanced. Uh, they have some videos on it and, and showing how it's made, and it's, it's like real food. And honestly, they're not. It doesn't seem like they're making that much money here, which. It's fine by me. Uh, this, you know, we're all about saving money and everything. And in my opinion, if you're not, if you're not doing bulk cooking at home. And it's a lot easier, you know, I have my girlfriend here, we do pulp ball cooking at home. Uh, if you're not doing that, then you're kind of not doing things right. And so if you can't handle that, I think buying a meal plan is a great idea. And it really comes down to how much your time is worth. Because, you know, grocery shopping and cooking is, is time, time con, uh, consuming and everything. So uh, for those of you who don't want to spend the time or you suck at cooking or you just want to throw some money at the problem, uh, it's actually not that much more money, I don't think, if you just... Go and buy a meal plan. So here we are, the unboxing of, once again, the 5% Nutrition meal plan. And let's see what we get here. Now, a lot of you uh, may wonder, you know, what, what's Mike doing here? Loving on 5% Nutrition so much. Obviously, I don't look like a 5%er, um, or the, the typical 5%er. You know, maybe that's more of CJ's alley. But the fact of the matter is that I absolutely do love this brand. They do put out different supplements. And it's a lifestyle brand that I just, uh, I'm a big fan of because they're really pushing people to their limits. All right, so right off the bat, I just got this shipped in through FedEx. So there's three different groups uh, in the country. And I'm in Group B. We're in Texas here. And so the... Um, I think what they do is they charge your card on Group B, they charge it on like Tuesday or so, and then you end up getting your package on uh, Wednesday is when mine came in. So it was done through FedEx. And I'm going to show you what came up right up front here. And so here is our meal plan. Kind of this is this is kind of a, a bodybuilder bro diet in in that you have a lot of chicken and a lot of uh, a lot of white rice and we got some roasted meatballs with a sweet potato mash. Perfect. Overall, 21 meals. This will last you a whole week, and um, and then you just gotta fill in the rest with you know, your supplements or you know some of your own cooking. So we got some styrofoam here, and a little bit of packing material. It's cold, so I don't think there's anything in here. This is just paper packed up here. Got a little bit wet, but nothing, nothing seeped out. This box stayed dry. I picked it up pretty quickly after I got the uh, got the email that the package had arrived. And so next, let's see if I can angle this camera for you to show you what we have here. Lots of ice packs, keeping it real with the Nordic ice. I'm not sure if these are reusable or if I'm just gonna throw these away. I'll check that out later. And then, oh my, the unboxing experience here. This is fun. Definitely smells like I got some food in, delivered here. But the box didn't smell when I uh, when I opened it, so the packing is is good. And here we go. It's various foods. So here's what, how it's gonna work. I'm excited. I just I just oh no, I just swam a workout here and. Uh, <laughs> I just swam workout and I'm starving, so I'm gonna do my first review right away. I'm gonna choose probably one of the uh, orange chickens or whatever it was. But look at that, I mean, we're getting 
Sweet and spicy chicken with gluten-free pasta. We're getting a lot of really good stuff here that uh, overall, I don't, for 21 meals, I'll have to come back to you on how much that's gonna cost you. But uh, this is looking pretty cool. I'm gonna be eating good for a week. I'm gonna give CJ half of these. And so you're gonna see uh, a lot of editing going on here. We're gonna do reviews of each one. This video might be a little bit long, but at the same time, if you're gonna spend you know hundreds of dollars on a meal plan, then you're probably gonna wanna be interested in seeing everything that we eat. So I'm gonna pause this and then decide what I'm gonna eat and we'll be back. Dude, look at my fridge. I got a little bit here and a little bit there. Oh yeah, I haven't been so excited to do a review. This is perfect timing because, well, I just swam, starving. Olympics are going on. I don't really feel like uh, like cooking a whole lot. So this, this couldn't have been better timing. And of course, $6 a meal. I got 21 meals here. It was $126 plus shipping. I mean, that's, that's awesome. If that's going to cover a whole week. Uh, you're, you're looking at about $500 for a month of food. That's about what we spend anyway, but that also, then I need to do all the cooking and everything too. So this is, this is going to be good. Obviously I'm not going to eat it all cause CJ is going to get some of it, but here we go. All right, delivery time. Here at the gym. All day you may. What's up, dude? What's going on? Check it out. What is this, dude? We got the Rich Piana 5% 5 nutrition meal plan. This is Colby, everyone. We haven't introduced him yet. Just moved back to town. Hey, He's working at the gym with CJ. What does 5% stand for? So that's a good question, actually. That's five percent. It's the five percent of people that are willing to do whatever it takes to get results. Gotcha. That's what you need. And to be at the top five percent of that game. That's very so. Simple. I already started. Oh, I got a phobia with styrofoam. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. You don't like that sound? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So I already took about <laughs> half of these, but um, oh, we got a couple different things for you: chicken Alfredo with nice. gluten-free pasta. I'm gonna eat one of these. There's another one for you. Is there anything interesting about the sauce that's different, or is it just okay? So Alfredo? this is the um, bodybuilding lifestyle diet. So most of the macro breakdowns are gonna be about like 45 protein, 45 carb, 15 grams of fat. Oh, okay, so low and fat Alfredo, low. I guess. Then. This has, yeah, so it's gonna be a low, little this bit has lower 80 fat. 80 grams of protein. No way. 80 wow. grams. Of protein. Oh yeah, that's all the chicken, and the chicken was well cooked for me. So oh. we're gonna see what you guys think. I want you to slowly record Do a couple think videos. That's legit. 80 grams of protein in this. Well, I weighed out the actual food on the food scale, and it worked. Really? Yeah. yeah. And actually, they gave more than they said they would. So that was one of my videos. Bad, not bad. We got a reasonable amount of sodium, which is interesting. Uh, only about 300 milligrams of sodium, which is very interesting for uh, an entire container. Here. It's tough to, yeah, to process, is, dude, not process food, it's real food. The ratio in here is unbelievable, 74 grams. All right. So what do you think that would be in macros? Do you guys want to try one of them right now? It's really yeah, low dude, fat. definitely. All right, for meal number one, I am actually choosing the gluten-free pasta with meatballs. I'm in a beef mode right now. Uh, lean ground beef, gluten-free pasta. You got some garlic, tomato paste, and uh, that's about it. This is, this is legit real food, just like Rich says. All right, we're back. So instructions. Refrigerate until use. Reheating instructions. Remove lid and replace loosely. Heat for one minute and 40 seconds or until 165 degrees Fahrenheit is reached. I'm not going to get my thermometer out. I do have one. But, um, let's see how this works. Oh, okay, so each meal is actually vacuum sealed. Didn't catch that. Awesome. Do that. Then, once you get that off, you got a nice little kind of snappy lid. Just gonna kind of put it over a little bit diagonally. Throw it in here. Good time, 140, and we're off. Boom, we're ready to go. All right, smelling a little bit of that garlic. Oh man, I had meatballs for a little while. And here is our 5% food. Cooked up. Feels pretty warm, so I'm thinking that was a good enough meal here. Good enough time. 
Look at this. This is just a legitimate meatball. I mean, what more can you say here? Mix this up. Oh, that's good. I'm Italian if you haven't known. So I kind of got high standards on things like this. I'm not the most Italian Italian, if that makes any sense. But this is legit. I'd have like no problem. I, I, my mom would probably not be like, this isn't as good as her food, but I'd have no problem giving this to her and she'd probably be pretty impressed. You can see that there's a good amount of herbs in this. Can you see the little green guys in there? Some oregano. There's some definitely some spices in this meat that make it way better than any meal plan I've had. This is... Oh, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude. I'm excited. This... I know I'm, so, I'm still hungry after swimming, but I'm gonna add a little red chili peppers here. Oh, geez. I'm in heaven. CJ, you're in trouble. I don't think I'm gonna give any of these foods to CJ. If they're all this good, awesome. I mean, I don't, you don't wanna watch me eating here. Right off the bat, and this, this pasta, if this is gluten-free, I almost like don't even believe it because it's way better than all the gluten-free crap that we occasionally make here. Wow. Perfectly cooked, al dente. The meatball's got flavor, but it's lean. It's not a fatty meatball. Like, I mean, look at this. Sometimes with the meat, you can see like, you know, when, when grandma's homemade meatballs come out, they're, they're greasy, we have high fat, you know, and all that, which is cool. This is definitely a lower fat diet. I'm very excited to say though that the flavor is still there because they're adding herbs and spices. A lot of these meal plans don't do that. So, um, okay, one for one, for sure. I'm taking a big bite here. Mmm. Still a touch cold in the middle. Next time I probably do like a minute 50. It just needs a touch more time in there. Overall, okay, one out of one. We're gonna have a lot more reviews. This is gonna take a while because we got a lot of stuff to review. But if all the food is like this, geez, just buy it now. I'm, I'm serious. This is for $6 and you get three of these monster meatballs. Like, dude, look how big this meatball is. Look at that. That's like a pound. Oh, yeah. All right, Rich Piana. Loving it so far. This is Mike with Price Paul. We're gonna be back with a lot more food. So we're doing um, Rich Piana's meal plan, and this is my second meal to have by him. And so it is the gluten-free pasta Alfredo. So I think it's delicious. The chicken's done really, really well. You can see I already heated up, so it's a minute and a half, uh, which is just about perfect. I probably could have put it in there a little bit longer for the chicken. Um, but there's 80 grams of protein here, which is insane. I'm gonna have Dylan over here try a piece Ooh, of this. For me? So tell me, tell me what you think. Now keep in mind, obviously this is for like, you know, fitness purposes. Not All like right. we sat down at Eddie V's for a Alfredo. All right, so I have a couple pieces of noodle and a little piece of chicken. Yeah. That should be a good spread. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What do you think? Not terrible? That's not terrible for a fitness meal. Yeah. So the noodles are cooked really really nice, like perfectly, especially since they're gluten free and I expect that. Yeah. The chicken breast is definitely bodybuilder chicken breast. Yeah. With some Alfredo sauce, which is good actually. Yeah. Um, not not incredibly spiced, like it's not as flavorful as I hoped. But the texture is really good. Yeah. So sauce. one thing that we notice on the um, on the sheet is like they, the sodium's really low in all of them. So it, it seems like they're like kind of uh, leaving it open a little I bit. When the, uh, you want to try it? That's probably what I would do. The salt. Yeah. The salt that bad boy. Salt so that's what. Uh, so Mike mentioned on the uh, meatballs uh, that he added a little bit of chili powder and like it was really good. So chili pea. Yeah. Some chili pea. Chili pea, yo. I mean, I definitely could like. I could eat that, you know, especially throughout the day, you know. Yeah. I would eat that for lunch. That's good. And considering like what you're getting, like your macros that you're yeah. getting, that's awesome. Yeah. The noodles that's are hard. really good. The chicken is Tempur-Pedic mattressy, like real, oh, real tough. Oh my god, that was but... the awesomest. <laughs> no, that was an amazing description. Like what was? It tastes like a mattress. It it has a real like a uh, firm a firm taste to it. It's like that bodybuilder. Yeah, it's bodybuilder it's firm, bodybuilder um, but firm. the noodles are awesome. Yeah. Um, the sauce's texture is good, but it's lacking the salty flavor, I yeah. think, is what it is. It's I think the they also could have added more, uh, so Mike had this and already put this on the review, but I think it could have had more salt, or, uh, sorry, uh, sauce altogether. Yeah. Oh. There could have been more, like it's kind yeah. of limited on the, do you want to try it? Yeah. Mm. 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 Mm.
this year. Are you sure? I don't know. It, no, unless okay. Rich Piana cooks it himself personally, does he do it all the yeah. meals? Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah in his kitchen. Really? Yeah. His what happens if it blows up and he has like 400 people he has to cook for? Where does he find the time? He it's makes like time. Santa Claus. He's like Santa Claus. <laughs> from I can see that. Rich Piana. In games. Yeah. Mike here, it's time for my chicken Alfredo with gluten-free pasta. I'm doing this one pre-workout. What we have on this one, 656 calories. You can see the numbers there. 57 carbs, 10 fat, 80 grams of protein. That's a lot of chicken in there. So I'm going to get this kind of loosely put on. Throw it in the microwave. That's good enough. 150 is ready to go. It's done. Not get much focus here. All right, so I'm getting to town on the chicken Alfredo here. Um, you can tell, like you know, this is a lower fat meal. There's not tons of Alfredo sauce everywhere, and the sauce kind of does get into the chicken more so than the pasta. Once again, the pasta is perfectly cooked. I'm surprised. Like, is this better than any other gluten-free pasta I've ever had? And uh, legit chicken strips. I'm a fan. Homemade homemade meatloaf with cauliflower mash. Um, didn't eat enough vegetables yesterday, and I'm starving right now. It's 710 calories. This is the most calories one I have left in the house. That's what we're looking at right here. Cauliflower mash looks good. Migrated for 150. Mmm. Yep, it's like cauliflower mashed potatoes. We occasionally make these. Great way of getting your veggies in. Oh, they did a better job than we do of that. All right. Now for the meat. This one does look a little bit more like a store made kind of meal, but this is a lot of protein still. Oh, but it tastes way better. Dang. I'm telling you, 5% is really, really impressing here. This is a great meal. I might not have put the, um, if I was a regular consumer, I might not have checked this on the checkbox. You need at least one of these for sure. Keep it, keep the variety. Don't be afraid of the cauliflower because this tastes like, it tastes more like mashed potatoes than cauliflower. Obviously, the taste is there, but you know, that's a way better way of getting your, there's a lot of garlic and spice and some salt in there. Way better way of getting your, uh, Getting your veggies in there. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes. Well done, 5%. What's up, guys? All right. Trying another one of these Rich Piana meal plan meals. Check it out. This is the homemade meatloaf with cauliflower. I already heated this up. All right. So put it in there for about three minutes, actually. Uh, got it just about right. This does not look super exciting to me. Uh, now, I will say this. Outside of the... Uh, the look of it, it smells really good. And I've had a couple of people walk in the office already uh, mentioning the smell. So this is uh, meatloaf and that's some sort of cauliflower mash. So anyway, I'm about to try this out, let you know uh, what I think about this. I uh, haven't even tasted it yet, but I'll let you know. Okay, so my initial thoughts are that I really like this. It's not super appealing to look at. So you can see it's like a brick, you know, uh, but Believe it or not, there's actually some really good flavor. I'm really shocked. Uh, plus, just like all of his meals, the macros are legit. I mean, there's like 70 grams of protein in here. Uh, carbs are like, I want to say 50, and the fats are around 16. So, like, this is a good macro play, especially for somebody like me that doesn't really eat that often. So, like, getting one of these in really helps me out. Uh, so, anyway, I'm a fan of this. I would definitely get the meatloaf again. I'm just really shocked. Did not expect this to taste good. I wasn't excited about it, but... I'm glad it tastes good. It works out for me, so. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, we're back. It's meal number two for me. Um, same day as the first review. I'm hungry, I swam, so we are looking at orange chicken with white rice. This meal has 696 calories, great for a hard day. 82 grams of carbs, 7.8 grams of fat, and 71 grams of protein. So a lot of chicken here. Uh, a lot of rice, and with that many carbs, I'm thinking this sauce is kind of carby too. So um, what we usually do with our reviews is I like to measure out 
uh, how accurate a protein powder scoop is. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm expecting this meal to weigh about 322 grams. So let's take a look at our scale. I got a bowl teared out here. I need to grab a fork from Jill here. And I've already opened the freeze dried packaging. So let's see how close we get to 322 grams worth of total food. I lost a couple grains of rice. Oh, we're over it. Okay. Honestly, and there's some water in here. I got a little bit of condensation from the bottom because this has been thawing a little bit. Um, okay, we're at 342 grams. And so my biggest concern was that, you know, I don't want to get shortchanged on, on any food. I don't want to lose any gains. And so right now we're at 342. We're expecting 322. So if anything, we're going to get an extra couple of uh, grams of protein and carbs, or maybe it's just extra water. Either way, I'm happy with that. So uh, once again, this is a minute and 40 I need to microwave this for. It's no longer in the packaging, so um, we'll see if that, it gets a little too hot. But I'm going to go like 145. You can hit pause now. All right, so <laughs> a minute in, I heard the, uh, the old chicken explosion in the microwave. This feels pretty hot, so it's good to go. Now, looking at the food earlier, um, before it was cooked, I noticed that the rice was a little bit like translucent. It looked a little bit undercooked, but now that we've kind of heated this up, I'm hoping this is going to be a hot bite. I'm hoping this is going to be good here. Hmm, that's good. For being a low-fat kind of sauce, I'm a fan of this. This is an orange chicken. Don't expect like PF chain kind of orange chicken. You're gonna. It's a little bit lighter, but that's uh. That's given the, the orange sauce there. The rice is well done after it's been cooked. Perfect. I was worried about the rice, no problems there. This is gonna work well, it's pretty sweet. I honestly would rather have, just like I added pepper to my first one, I would probably rather have a little more spice than sweetness in, the, um, in this, but that's kind of what the design of this meal is. It does have some sweetness to it. So I'm happy that, th that the scale weighed out well. I'm going to assume that a lot of these meals work out. I'm going to weigh them, and then I'll let you know if any of them come up light. But overall, so far, so good. This is going to be an enjoyable meal. Uh, not the best orange chicken you've ever had, but definitely better than stuff most of you guys are probably cooking at home. So I'll give you that. Um, the next review will have me bring in CJ, his batch, and then we're going to kind of break up those reviews. Uh, other than that, so far, so good. We were running two for two on this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chow down here. And um, once again, check out Price Plow and you can read about the blog post and we'll have a full review up soon. Thanks. Just in case you wanted a zoom in shot right here. You know something that would have been worth mentioning? I didn't. I'm trying to record right now. So here's a zoom up of the orange chicken if you want it. Pretty good. Now notice that this is just straight up chicken breast. Obviously being low fat is not the fried stuff that you're going to get it you know, P.F. Chang's or any of those restaurants. But overall, for the uh, bodybuilding lifestyle diet, this is exactly what you expect. And I'm warming one up right now. I need something to eat. Uh, we have these in. This is gonna be the orange chicken and rice. So I'm gonna try that out, let you guys know what I think. Uh, so far, we've been pretty pleased with the meals, but yeah. All right, so I literally just took my first bite, actually, while I was turning the camera on. Um, so this is orange chicken and rice, okay? And to be honest with you, it's, it looks better than I thought whenever it was all said and done, came out of the microwave. It actually looks pretty appealing. So this one actually seems to be done pretty well. Uh, it's a pretty big meal, 70 grams of protein in this one, which is nuts i mean that's just an insane amount of protein um good serving of rice here the rice seems to be pretty well uh pretty cooked i mean correctly cooked i should say which i think sometimes can be kind of hard like whether you get a little bit too soft and gummy or too hard which this seems to be just right with the chicken let's try another piece of chicken here I mean, it's tender. Again, it seems to be cooked pretty well. It's not overly dry. Um, you know, with all these meals consistently, I'd say it's nothing fancy, right? 
Um, don't get these expecting like these gourmet dishes or anything like that. It's definitely bro food. Um, but for the macros that you're getting, I mean, this is really pretty damn good. I mean, I, I've got to admit I'm pretty impressed. The orange flavor in here is just kind of a tangy orange. It's not very salty. That's something we've also noticed is there's not a lot of sodium in most of his meals. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to give this one a, a thumbs up. It, it brings what it says it's going to bring. So. Turkey bolognese with gluten-free pasta. This is the one that Colby ended up not liking as much, so that makes me a little bit even more excited. It is kind of packed with turkey stuff. Got some here too. Microwave time. She's ready. Bolognese time. It's like a mishmash of turkey and pasta here. Honestly, it's uh, I'm gonna have no problem eating this. This is probably the worst one I've had yet, and this is after like ten different meals. So honestly, this mm, just after one bite, it's kind of like hamburger helper-ish. I'd, I'd I'd reformulate this one if I was rich in the team. I'm not sure what flavors are in here. Oh, yeah. So, Colby mentioned, like, a citrus flavor. There's a little bit too much orange or lemon or something mixed into this one. Yeah, this isn't this isn't my cup of tea. If you like citrus, you might like it a little bit more than me. Uh, not complaining, but I would uncheck this box on my next order. Hey guys, so this is another 5% nutrition meal here. This is the teriyaki beef with white rice. I actually um, ended up freezing this, so it's actually coming from a frozen state to edible, so I don't know if this will affect the uh, taste of it or not, but we'll see how it goes. Actually, the beef is really good. Rice is a little bit tough, but um, again, I went from frozen to um, defrosted, so it could have affected the um, texture and uh, moisture of the rice a little bit, but beef is really good. Enormous serving of beef there. I think probably 71 grams of protein, holy crap. Yeah. I approve this one. I like it a lot more than the uh, Belognese or uh, the, uh, I guess it's the, yeah, yeah, the turkey Belognese or uh, however you say that. Um, definitely uh, halfway through that meal, I just couldn't do it anymore. But uh, this one I think I'm going to be able to finish. Beef is tasty. I can probably uh, throw a little salt on that rice or something and uh, get that down as well. So. Uh, definitely um, like this one. Final meal of the day. I'm going for teriyaki beef with white rice. I already had the uh, gluten-free pasta. So we're going to get 82 grams of carbs, 71 grams of protein. Let's take a look. Looks good. I'll get it out of the bag. That's, this is the look right here before uh, microwaving it. And... I'm probably going to add some spicy chili paste to this, since uh, anyone can add their own spice. I don't expect it to be too spicy. Here we go. Oop, that was hot. I did a minute 45 here. Oh, that looks good. Teriyaki style. I'm in. Now, one thing I think I'd like here is if there was a little bit of a, a few pieces of broccoli wouldn't be bad. Not enough vegetables in here. You could obviously get your fruits in easily eating yourself, but I know a lot of people might not be eating their own cooking their own vegetables so that was very good mm -hmm. I'm not sure what teriyaki taste that is but it's a little saucier than the other stuff I've had I'm a fan once again the rice is cooked perfectly once you microwave it 
Yeah, this is a, add this one to your cart for sure if you're going to get this meal plan. I'm a fan. I'm going to add just a touch of spicy. Um, I think a, a little bit of broccoli would be nice in here, though. Other than that, this, is, this one's good to go for sure. So I doctored this up with a little bit of chili paste and some avocado that we had in the house. Um, my significant other said that this smells really, really bad. I disagree, but I can see why maybe some people might not like it. Um, I think you got to like that soy sauce kind of base to it, but there's, there is a, a unique smell and I'm not sure what the flavor is, but it is different and some may not like it. I disagree with her, but she won't even try it because she, she doesn't like the smell. So there's that. Another 5% nutrition meal here, guys. We got the sweet and spicy chicken with gluten-free pasta. Pasta first. Not bad, pasta's actually really good. It's been frozen for a little while. Had a uh, fight with the microwave over getting this heated up and it still actually tastes pretty decent. Well cooked pasta. Let's check out some of this chicken. It's not bad. It's a bit dry, but not bad for a uh, frozen to ready to eat meal. Yeah. Definitely a fan. I think uh, for sure so far the uh, bolognese or bolognese, whatever it is, probably my least favorite meal of uh, the 5% nutrition. I think we've pretty much gone through them all at this point. Uh, and I think this one is probably mid grade. I think the. Um, one I had the other day, and this teriyaki beef uh, with the rice is probably my absolute favorite. Finished that with no problem, but uh, the bolognese, probably uh, one of the uh, worst meals I've had in a little while. After about halfway through, I just uh, muscled through it, but either way, really good meal, and uh, we'll definitely eat this again. Sweet and spicy chicken with gluten free pasta. 75 grams of protein out of 640 calories. Oh, that's hot. This one looks good. These noodles seem to add a little bit of Kind of like fat to it a little bit. Yeah, getting a little more sweet than spicy. I like it. You always have more spice. Mm-hmm. This will work out. I would definitely add this one to your list as well. Man, they're doing good with these meals. I like peppers too. If you don't like peppers, obviously this one's not going to be for you, but some real deal vegetables in here. Could use a couple more peppers, but I will take it. Final Rich Piano Meal for Mike. This is the roasted meatballs with sweet potato mash. I've already had it. I already know it's good. Um, this thing is so heavy, and these meatballs are so big that the lid wasn't even really staying on. And I got to microwave this now. Uh... This is way heavier than whatever it's saying, 616 calories. It's not zooming in. Yes! Dense meal. So much food in this one. Got the sweet po. I'm gonna just from minute 50. There's so much food in this one. This is the biggest one I've had. I need to have. Good sweet potato, a little bit of spice in there. The meatballs are where it's at, once again. Lots of the green stuff in there, lots of the spice, whatever herbs they put in there, really good. I need to microwave this more. These things are so big, so much food here. Jeez, it's gonna take more time to microwave. What a value, loving this one. Oh, this meatball is really good too. What's up, Price Pile? All right, man, what are we doing here? We okay, doing? we're gonna do the final recap on the Rich Piana 5% Nutrition Lifestyle Bodybuilding Lifestyle Meal Plan. Okay. And then after this video, we'll edit in all of the, the individual meals that we're eating. So in general, and then we're gonna go through each uh, item on the menu and decide which ones we would have or not have them ship. 
Sweet. So in general first, CJ, what'd okay. you think? All right, so again, like, I'll be the first one to tell you, like I wanted to be like a 5% nutrition Piana skeptic because the bro thing is just, uh, drives me nuts. But <laughs> just like consistently with the amino acid product they had with some of the pre-workouts, with the fat burners, with now with the meal plan, I have nothing but props and good things to say about 5% nutrition, man. Like, so I'm a fan of this. It saved my ass a couple of times here at the gym. Yeah. I, I didn't uh, prep my food like, you know, most people don't end up doing at some point, you know, and, and it was able, I was able to get some meals in, so it was really nice. I love the fact that the macros, like you get tons of protein in there. Yeah. Now it is the low fat, like higher carbohydrate, or it, it sways towards the carbohydrate protein than it does the fat, mm -hmm. uh, which I do sometimes like more fat in my diet. But hey, like this, there's, you can get the keto one, and this is the plan that yeah. you, that we chose here. So That's right, absolutely. So like what what I had, it worked out for my macros. It put a dent in my protein for the day, uh, which sometimes getting 200 plus is, is hard to do. Right. The the flavor was was actually relatively decent, man. I, I was okay with that, and it, it microwaved good. So look, overall, like I got to give them props and respect where it's due. Uh, as much as I think that that Rich and, and the crew can, can be goofy, <laughs> hey man, it works. It is what it is. Good stuff, man. So, well, yeah, and I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but like what you need to realize is that it's not just rich piano scooping meatballs into these tubs like there are guys behind the scenes at this company that i deal with you know on the business end who know what they're doing these are some of the smartest dudes in the industry and so um i'm not surprised that they're doing so well i'm not surprised that finally someone gets it like hey yeah. i want a meal plan that doesn't have a dinky 30 grams of protein yeah. like some of these things had like 60 to 80 grams of protein these meatballs were huge it was like yeah. a little bit heavier than that and so that said though um, this might not be for everyone. Like if you're a very small guy or if you're a girl, like two of these meals can legit put you over your macros. There's, like, there, I would say like out of all the meals that I had, uh, probably maybe honestly like two of them, I was able to sit and like finish in one, one sitting. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it is a good amount of food, especially the one with the meatballs actually, which I'm gonna yeah. say is my favorite, but yeah. Right, and then you might have to cut some of these meals in half and everything and uh, that might put you back into like measuring food territory, but whatever, the point is, that this is a meal plan that is actually does what it says it does is for the people who you know they're catering to. They did a good job hitting their demographic. Um, Dare I say course, this is actually? I think that this is a revolutionary step in the meal plan. It thing. really I is. Really like thankfully, is. and I know that Rich and the team they're they're not making a ton of money here because this is a crap load of food for six bucks a meal. Now the question is, shipping. After oh, you yeah. add in the shipping cost, is it worth about eight twenty five per meal? And it might be even more if you're on the East Coast. And in that case, it really, I think it's gonna come down to who you are. You know what, dude? One of the things that I was doing it, like, you know, obviously we, Colby and I run a gym here, and so we're around clients and, and trainers and, and people in the industry a lot. And one of the things I was doing was was basically talking to them about the, the, the Piano meal plans, and I was, they were asking how much did it cost? I would respond with about eight to nine dollars per meal after shipping, right. and literally I never had anybody say, oh my God, that's expensive. Actually, the response was like, wow, that's actually a pretty good deal for the amount of like food because and the Because there's a lot of protein. They're hitting so. it like with that, and it cooks perfectly. You could have McDonald's easily getting two chicken yeah. sandwiches. Well, yeah, and that's what that's what I was gonna say is like, yeah, people might look at this like, oh, I'll go get fast food somewhere else for ten dollars or five dollars or whatever. But look at the macros. For you to be able to hit seventy grams of protein, you are going to spend. You would upwards spend of twenty dollars at Chick Fil A or right. somewhere like that just to hit those numbers. So. And I think people in the industry get that now. Like you said, that's why it's revolutionary. Yeah. It's like trainers and, and, and clients, we get that now and we're willing to spend that eight, nine bucks for a meal that, that actually hits our numbers right. good. Now at the same time for me personally, it's gonna depend on you. If you're a single, if I was a single guy, um, sometimes get lazy with the meal, meal prep and everything, I'd be all over this. Now I am in a relationship where we bulk cook every Sunday and it's easy to do because you have two people eating a lot of variety and everything. Uh, you know, I've already got that handled, but if I was if I was solo, oh, without a doubt, I'd be on this. I'd probably be looking at the keto one myself. And you know, and it's not like, obviously, Colby and I are both in relationships too, and, and it's, but it's, for us anyway, I know we work somewhere upwards of 14, 15, 16 right, you're hour here all days, the time. Yeah. and the truth is, is like, I wake up in the mornings at four o'clock, and I'm like, I'm not like, I wanna pack my meal. And so <laughs> it, I think it's a lifesaver for me, yeah. it just obviously depending on your lifestyle, mm -hmm. you're gonna, it's always gonna be cheaper to prep your own food, always. Right. But the question is, is what, how much what, is yeah. how much is your time worth? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh so. yeah, I, I ate pretty well for an entire week all those meals. <laughs> yeah. um, minus the bolognese. That <laughs> That's was, what we're gonna get into. That was uh, probably the worst meal I've had <laughs> in a long time. That was I finished it, but it was rough. But yeah, I mean it was it was very filling. I, 
I didn't have to go to McDonald's that day, and I, I was, I'm usually spending about fifteen dollars at McDonald's a day. Sure. Sad to say. Yeah. So on that note, let's go through. <laughs> let's go through the check boxes on the website and uh, and decide which meal choices. And right up front is the one that none of us liked. Turkey bolognese, or well, bologna, or bolognese is what we've been calling it. <laughs> Turkey bolognese with, bolognese with gluten-free pasta. Honestly, this is the one that needs to go back to the lab. Rich Piana and crew, um, it almost, it's like ground turkey. Dry it tastes like citrus. a very bad hamburger helper where they poured yeah. a gallon of orange juice in there. Yeah. Um, it, it was it was heavy on the protein again, but it just it was bad. I'm it, sorry. It, according to these guys, it tasted what it looked like, and, <laughs> and that's not good. Look, guys, skip past the first checkbox yeah. when you're going. That's skip it. past it. And then Don't everything else, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, seven for eight. Everything else to me was awesome. But the next one, gluten-free pasta with the meatballs. Uh, so by far my favorite. Yes. Like hands down my favorite. Yes. If I were to order, like I've already decided, like if I were to go back and order these. Um, you would see me probably get three meals and that's it. And I would just get that like, cause there was three of my favorites. It wasn't that some of the other ones were good. It was just like, I like the meatball so much. Right. Uh, and then I also like the Alfredo and I like the, uh, the ham, uh, meatloaf one, but you know, those, that's it. I would just yeah. recycle that and I would probably get mostly meatball. So yeah, yeah. I'm Italian and I had, an, I'll, you'll see another video where I'm freaking out over the first bite of the meatballs. I was like, I couldn't believe that this came out of a meal plan. They had just the perfect amount of spice. I don't know how they do the pasta so good, but it's like, oh, yeah. like you get a frozen meal and you're thinking like, there's no way that this, it tastes like I just cooked the pasta. Everything, home, the, so. and the rice too. Like they, it looks, the rice looks a little bit undercooked, a little bit translucent, and then you microwave it and boom, it's like finally perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So then it doesn't go to overcook. The chicken is the same way. So like, um, what was next? Okay, homemade meatloaf with cauliflower mash. So, so actually, yeah. So I actually did this one. Yes, it was yesterday, or the day before. And uh, let me be honest, so it was. I left it as one of the, the last ones for us to uh, to have because I wasn't excited You're about it. Of cauliflower, dude. It, it looks like so the meatloaf looks like straight up like cat food when you like spam. Yeah, spam. Or, it's like a brick, like, right. Yeah, it's just a brick. Uh, so I was really uh, scared of it, and I've never, I've actually never had cauliflower mash before. I, apparently, that's a thing. Uh, I talked to some of my other trainers. They're like, "Dude, you haven't had that?" I'm like, yeah. No, I had never heard had that. But um, so, first of all, the macros were amazing on it. It was actually relatively low carbohydrate, which is surprising. Um, and so, but the dude, it tasted good. I was, I, I said in the Still video, I was good. like, I am absolutely shocked. It was one of the only ones I felt like actually that didn't stink up the office. I thought it actually <laughs> smelled good. Oh, it you did, know? it did. And cauliflower uh, can do that. Yeah. So you can. Make mashed potatoes out of cauliflower. The trick is not making it stink like cauliflower and spicing it right. And it tasted legit like yeah. like mashed potatoes a little now, bit. Now, just like with all the meals, they they put a relatively low amount of seasoning on it. And right. they, I guarantee they do this on purpose because every bro plan on the plant, you know, on the planet mm -hmm. is watching out for sodium or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they, they definitely were were low on that. But you can add your own stuff, uh, and which is kind of cool. I, I added chili that. paste to all the Asian ish dish, yeah. dishes. So. <laughs> No, but yeah, add a little bit of salt to that meatloaf, but like, hey, 100%, that would be one of my three, for sure. Yeah, all right. Now, how about the sweet and spicy chicken with gluten-free pasta? Didn't have it. So I had it, I, I had it, um, I wouldn't put it in my, like if I were going to order again, you wouldn't probably see me ordering it, but it wasn't bad. Like, here's the thing, mm -hmm. it tastes like just kind of regular chicken to me, which I just, I don't know, maybe so many years of dieting, but like just plain old chicken just really gets old with me. Yeah, they, um, and it's sweet. Yeah, the sweetness was there. No, no, it, it, well, it was. I needed it to add more spiciness, and then I was happy. Um, it was. It was like it. It wasn't like what you think of. I don't know. It was the tang. It was a certain tang to it. It was almost like bitter. A you're little definitely bit not going to get Panda Express here, and no, I think no, at the no. point where you know this is a low fat diet, it ain't happening. So no, MSG. Um, but yeah, to me, I would include it because of the variety. I like variety and everything, but. This would have been my lower, on the lower end of the ones I would have Now, the rice was the best part of it for me. Mm -hmm. The rice was pretty good, but again, the rest of it was just like, it wasn't dry chicken, but it was just kind of plain chicken to me with a little bit of that orange flavor, yeah, and it could, definitely wasn't Pen Express. Kick it up a little bit is what I would yeah. say. Otherwise, chili paste for me. Okay, um, where am I? Orange chicken with the white rice. Right, right. So yeah, uh, for sure. Like uh, So that's kind of the same thing um, with me. I wouldn't put it in my top three, but it was probably my... It was above the uh, the was the spicy, right? Yeah, the sweet one, and spicy. Yeah. I agree. Above the sweet and spicy. Okay. Um, I, I just maybe it's I'm not a spice guy. I don't know, but like mm -hmm. I, I I thought it was okay, but again, it was kind of plain chicken with a little bit of that or felt like orange peel, mm -hmm. kind of like a really orange taste to it. Just not not the sweet. It was just a bitter, like a strong oh, orange really? taste. Okay, to I it. liked it better than that, but yeah. Um, 
Not not my top three either, but I definitely did like it better. Really? Yeah, I mean, and again, the, the rice, they did a good job again. So, yeah. like, actually, most of the sides on all of these. Right. Okay, after that, the last chicken one is chicken Alfredo with gluten-free pasta. That one I would order. That's my top definitely. three. Yeah. You had the chicken Alfredo. Yeah, I tried a little bit. It was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, for being low-fat, this is... It's as good as it's gonna get low fat because you know, it's not creamy like crazy, but there's enough there to make it not dry, and that's the, that's the key with chicken. Uh, so yeah, it's not insane Alfredo ragu sauce that you're gonna expect, but we don't expect that. So yeah, I like it a lot. I'm, I'm not I'm not the the Italian over here, so he, he's gonna give you the best review. But I would agree with uh, one thing that Mike mentioned is if they were able to sneak in a little bit of Alfredo, even if that sacrificed a couple of grams of fat, Sometimes, that might be a little bit yeah. better. But I would still put it up there as, as good. Mm -hmm. Now I will say, so I had two of those meals, Mike. Now the second one, what, what I did was if you, if you have your meals longer than a certain period of time, you freeze them, right? Oh, right. So what I did was I, I took it out of the uh, the freezer and I went directly to microwave with it. Mm -hmm. Now I microwaved a little longer than what they suggested. Mm -hmm. What I noticed is that Alfredo sauce got a lot more like clumpy. Now it tasted decent, it tasted similar, but it wasn't like the creamy sauce anymore. It was a little bit more of like oh, a hardening okay. effect yeah. to it. So you might want to watch out for that, yeah. you know. Try to eat your meals within the appropriate time. Well, guys, right, but you if know. you're not going to eat them within seven days, it does say to freeze them. Yeah. You'll see these instructions because, uh, yeah, you don't want it rotting in your fridge. Well, yeah, yeah but you know what? I did I did the meatloaf also from frozen to microwave, and it was great. Okay, so no cool. problem. Yeah. So it's not an issue to do that, guys. It doesn't really affect the flavor, but it just the consistency was weird. So so I have a juice rare, too. You're not really a microwave technician. <laughs> That's <thing>. true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, right, here's an interesting one. The ter uh, teriyaki beef with oh, white that, rice. I had that one. Yeah. That was my absolute favorite one. He may have liked the meatballs, but that was actually my favorite one. That, the the rice on that going from frozen to microwave, mm -hmm. uh, it was a little. It seemed like it was a little underdone, or maybe it was still with our freezer or something. Was, was it like so on uh, like a little bit like mushy or like hard? no? It was hard. It was oh, hard. hard. Okay, oh, so like you yeah, like cook it a little bit Yeah, undercooked. It was. Um, loved it good, but the beef was perfect. I was, I loved it. There was like clearly some teriyaki soy taste going on in there. I, of course, added chili paste, but um, two comments. My girlfriend hated the smell so much, she basically, she wouldn't even try it and everything. <laughs> um, so it does it did smell a little bit, but I, I loved it. It was definitely different than any teriyaki I had. Oh, yeah. I think this would be a good opportunity for uh, the crew to add some broccoli to it. It was it was missing a little bit of a side. Oh, yeah. And if you add some broccoli there, that gives you a little bit more uh, servings of the vegetables, and it kind of fits the meal too. So I would add that in there, and then, uh, and then yeah, you're 100% good to go on I'm that I'm just one. curious with broccoli though, like the freezing and microwaving, oh, yeah. like if you, you know, yeah, I'm thinking they, like a crunchy, like you can fresh broccoli. Mush, oh, I'm thinking yeah. of mush stuff. You mush oh, into really? the teriyaki sauce. All right. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, and then the final one: roasted meatballs with sweet potato mash. You're getting uh, the meatballs. So had you had yeah, that? Yeah, no, yeah, you, I remember you had that. No, I was gonna say that was you. Yeah, yeah I had it. it. was pretty good. The um, I wasn't a super big fan of the sweet potato. Um, whether it's just my taste buds or not, I just didn't like it. Now he's a kind of a sweet potato snob. Oh, is this he? guy I used like to it. eat so many sweet potatoes <laughs> like back in the day. Maybe, maybe I can get some tips, man. Yeah, right. But no, I, I liked everything else. The, the sweet potato is just a little bit off. I ended up eating it with the protein just to, so, so, so I get it down. Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't a big fan of sweet potatoes. A little bit off for me. I, I, I don't know what it was. The meatball similar I was a fan. to it the... Was, it yeah. was sweet potato. I, yeah. I don't think they they went wrong with it at all. I didn't have to add anything to that. But the meatballs um, was same as like was, the other. I think it was like the same the, meatball. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was impressed actually I didn't in the think microwave that the meatball got all the way defrosted. It seemed consistent throughout the entire meal. Yeah. Like they didn't make the meatball too big to where the center was still frozen. Right. But it didn't make the sweet potato mash too hot. So yeah. You no, know, they 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 did it right. I really think it's so. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> Richard, magic. So. uh I mean, overall, yes, very positive. The only thing, I mean, there's no breakfast foods here. There's no, um, there's no fruits. You got to add fruits. I'm a big fruit eater and everything uh, helps you live longer, all that good stuff. But uh, no dessert either. So you can really lower your grocery bill a lot, but I don't think you're going to lower your grocery bill to zero with this. Yeah. And CJ likes to eat candy and stuff, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I think overall, dude, like, it, it they, they're doing what they said they're going to do. Like, yep. it, it, it is revolutionary. I think that it's just in the beginning stages. And I think the truth is, like, if they continue on, which I hope they do, I think we'll see an expansion, but hopefully some desserts, maybe some fruits, maybe. I mean, they may even come out with a, hopefully, like, a dial back calorie version for, like, yeah. the smaller folks or the women or whatever. So. Yeah, <laughs> I know that this has been popular. I know a lot of people are going to watch it. I think that it deserves a shot. If you think that these meals and these macros can figure lifestyle and your um 
your time schedule really. Yeah. And you know what? I, I, I hate to do this. Like I live in Austin, Texas. The, like one of the this would probably be the fitness capital. Well, it is the capital of Texas, but also the, probably the fitness capital of Texas. <laughs> this is where most of the fitness is going on. We have meal plan companies that right. Diamond doesn't here. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, like, and again, I have friends that own some of these companies, but I have to say, Rich Piana did it better. <laughs> I, look, I, I know that's, I mean, yeah. it is what it is, yeah. though. You know right. what I mean? Like, that's all guess. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> so after this, you can see each of the each of the foods as we mix it up, and you can take a look at those. But uh, check out PriceLaw.com. Maybe we can get you a small coupon. I know they're not making a lot of money on these, but uh, we could try for that. Check out PriceLaw.com. We got a blog and all that, and where we talk about it more. Oh, hey, and if you guys are watching this, you're probably uh, a bro, and you like to lift heavy stuff. Yes. Come out to FTA Gym in uh, Pflugerville, North Austin, Texas, uh, and we'll hook it up, man. All right. All right. Thanks.